Peter, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Um, you know, so there are some very cool businesses that are involved tonight, obviously, Infotech being one of them. Um, can you can you tell me just a little bit about what Infotech is and, and what you do there? Sure. Uh, I am the current chairman of Infotech, and Infotech Western New York has been around 20 years. We have uh, we are the trade association for te technology, and our three pillars are our networking events, which we do three networking events per year, uh, education, where we bring in augmented reality like Twisted Rope, uh, AI and machine learning, IBM, and some uh, Amazon, different uh, cloud type training and then we have our biggest uh, event which is called the beta awards which is buffalo emerging technology awards and showcase and that is the crown jewel of our event every year we just held it last thursday 12 award winners and about four or five hundred people come down to riverworks every year to check it out so very cool so tell me a little bit about more about that awards um so it, is it 12 awards in different um technology categories. Correct, yes, like women in technology, IT leader, community IT leader, uh, best website, best social media, uh, women, and then there's multiple categories of women in tech and the IT leader in tech and large and small business because it would be tough to compete against somebody who's running a large scale operation versus somebody who just started an IT company and best tech culture, both small and established in, in, in that way. So. Yet at the same time, one of the really cool things about tech is it's oftentimes for a very small company to look very big, correct? Um, because of the way that different things are done, you know, you can be, you know, you, you have a one-person outfit with a website that's just beautiful that runs flawlessly, and you know, you end up obviously growing the company significantly from there. But a lot of these big companies that are behemoths now started as very small companies with the right people doing the right things in the right ways, and um, obviously, more and more of our economy is geared towards tech all the time. Um, so it, it's got to be fun being in on the, the, the forefront of that and helping people to basically build the new American economy. Correct. Buffalo is, it has a very large emerging entrepreneurial community uh, with the 43 North business plan competition that's been running for several years. We've been able to attract some companies from out of the area to come here to Buffalo. And then on top of it, we're able to seed those companies as they need filler, smart IT people, technology marketing, advertising, all that. So Buffalo has become a very fast hub growing itself in an entrepreneurial way and technology is a very, very big part of that. So what made Infotech want to uh, sign on as a sponsor for young audiences tonight? Number one, one of the things over the years I've been in, involved, the association has been around 20 years. I've been involved for the last nine. And one of the things we don't do well enough is we really cater to like a, a lot large businesses, medium business, small business. We don't have a component of reaching out to the youth and young, uh, younger generations. We sometimes have some good college programs, and occasionally we have a high school event once in a great while, but it's mostly that this is my way of saying, hey, we need to get more connected with it. I'm a drone pilot, so I've been doing a lot of cinematography, videography, and, I, and, I, and what Chris was doing was really close to my heart when I met him, and he basically explained this would be a really big help if you could help us out. And I said, well, this is an easy ask. And I wanted to see other folks that are in the market that are trying to do it as well in our region. I'd love to see an esports arena. I'd love to see a, a place where kids could grow and do, uh, you know, video editing and, and, and footage and learn how to actually really use cameras and really document the way the world is doing it. Whether it's a documentary, a real film, a movie, or something like that. Let them aspire to be something ama amazing, sure. you know, and give them a, a platform to do it in. I think a lot of people probably don't think about the of technology and art. They, they seem to be very disparate, and yet at the same time, you kind of can't have one without the other. Agreed. Without, especially, I can say this, in the last three years of doing drone editing and video uh, you know, editing to a, a high level degree, because these are I'm doing real estate shoots every single day, and that takes a lot more technology than anybody ever. And when I show our real estate folks, when I do a training and I teach classes, their jaw at the floor. They think you just push a button and, and it all happens magically. It's steps and if it's not done right, color grading, uh, making sure that you identify all the things that you have to do, the shoots themselves, writing scripts, getting people prepared before they even come to the camera and being ready for that. If they don't have that knowledge early enough, they're never going to be able to get past the next level. So sure. getting them started early is what I'm all excited about and that's why we're here today. Well, just, you know, just this setup right here, for example, there's, there's a convergence of art and technology. Without a doubt. You know, so obviously We've got the camera, we've got a videographer, um, and you know, so speakers and microphones right around us that have to be exactly. working. And yet, the video itself is art. Now, it might not be high art, <laughs> right. um, 
but it's but it's the same equipment that's used to create high art. And, and like personally, I'm a huge fan of minimalism. You know, and, okay. and so you get these you get these pieces of technology, and so a lot of times you get technology that finds these uh, little pieces of minimalism. It's really artistic that you that you know you, you might not see otherwise. Um, so it is really, I can see how it makes sense uh, for for you to be involved and why it would make sense for you to want to sponsor something like this. I'm very happy, like I said, at the end of the day, um, anything that's Western New York that needs to see or change uh, and, and grow an element of our uh, community and technology is touching everything. 20 years ago, technology was an afterthought. You exactly. hired the people and then you figured, hey, who's the smartest guy who knows how to do spreadsheets? We'll make him the IT guy. Exactly. And now companies start with IT first. I don't, I'm not always saying that's the best way, but you have to have that almost married with what you're going to about sure. to do with the right people and the right methodology. Sure. So, yeah. cool. Peter, if people want to learn more about InfoTech, how can they? InfotechWNY.com is our website. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn. Um, we're a trade association for business people that really want to make sure that we connect our community via technology using education, uh, networking events, and the award show or recognition is what we do. Very, very cool. Well, I really appreciate your time and uh, I thank you for your involvement tonight. Um, I'm sure I'll run into you at some point. Awesome, we'll have a drink. Thank you, sounds good. I'll save you some cheese. Ha, ha, ha.